Hey Bucket Pond family, what's up? Today we are building a sealed polydarium with moss and duckweed. And let's jump right in. We're using a one gallon pickle jar. This is a great size for this type of project. Any smaller and your pets and plants will struggle. To start with, we're adding dried leaves as our uh, substrate, as our foundation layer. And now we're going to use some carbon fiber mesh to keep that layer pinned down. We don't want those leaves to float around. And next we're adding wet river sand. There's quite a bit of water with this sand and that's fine. It's very clean. I just rinsed it. And now we're going to clean things up. I'm just going to wipe down the jar a little bit. I had some fun editing this one. I hope that you enjoy it. And now we're going to add our red lava rock. I had to manually crush a bunch of this rock up to make these smaller pieces. And we're going to do some aquascaping. Uh, mainly we're trying to establish a island towards the back of the jar. And this will be our land portion in the polydarium. There we go. That's our rock island. Looks pretty good. And you see what I'm going for here. We're going to take a piece of marble and just, you know, pin that down a little bit and use that as our shell. Now we're adding live cultures. These are ostracods, uh, tubaflex worms, um, paramecium, some planaria, all sorts of different pets and small creatures that we raise independently. And we're going to add them in here. Now we're adding algae samples. This is green water algae, uh, which is very good at producing oxygen and uh, should act as a long-term food source for the pets inside the foundation of our ecosystem. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty happy with this so far. It's a little rough, but you know, all of my projects look a little strange. And now we're adding some detritus worms. These guys are very important to keep the tank clean and I'm noticing some success with raising them in ecospheres. Now we're gonna add some filtration algae. This is filamentous algae, maybe a little bit of bladderwort in there with it. Now we're adding our duckweed and our bladder snails. Uh, a ram's horn snail might sneak in here, maybe a pond snail, but generally we're adding uh, bladder snails. And next up, our terrestrial moss. This is moss harvested from my own backyard. I believe it's hypnum moss, I could be wrong. Uh, but I've recently learned from our previous projects that moss is very good about producing oxygen and this should support a large amount of life in here. And now we're going to mist the tank. Just a little freshwater mist to get the moss settled in and to get everything moist. And we're going to wipe off some of that from the front of the jar just so we can view the uh, insides as we go. And now we add the lid. This is a sealed project. It will never be opened. Uh, it's not meant to be opened. It should remain forever closed until the lid erodes and falls away in 10 or 20 years. There we go. It's perfect. I'm pretty happy with this. It's very, very green inside. Um, it looks pretty nice. I'm hopeful that some springtails made it into here. Uh, maybe some small terrestrial creatures to help, you know, keep that moss going. But here's a quick look at some of the snails and microfauna. You can see quite a few uh, paramecium scooting around. Uh, very nice bladder snail. There's a planarian right there. Uh, this tank should produce quite a few different uh, types of life. We should have a very active ecosystem in here. It's all getting settled right now, but this is basically a pond in a jar. This is a sealed ecosphere. This is also a polydarium. And we have a case worm. Yes, I love case worms. They're so cool. But as you can see here, we have our land, our water, and our open air portion. We've learned recently from our other uh, ecospheres that have been running for several years that a large open air area is very important to long-term success. Uh, we've also learned that the moss can produce quite a bit of oxygen, and I think that it will carry the life in this project for the long term. With any luck, we'll have a beautiful, maybe 10-year ecosphere here uh, with quite a bit of growth and life inside. 
So my name is Terry. The channel is called Bucket Ponds. I produce weekly videos and I would be very grateful if you would subscribe. Thank you so much for everyone that subscribed to the channel already. Uh, I'm working on the 500 subscriber special, uh, which might be something like, uh, you know, answering comments and things like that. So thanks for watching, guys. I make weekly videos. Please check out the channel for more.